guys today I'm finally doing the review on the Sedona Lace brushes that I've been promising I would do for a long time. I've had them since like last year so pretty sure I can give a pretty good review now. So a few of these you'll be you the, the you would have seen like tons throughout my videos like my getting ready videos and my chit chat um, face of the day videos where I put on my makeup in front of you you guys would have seen me use these and talk about these um, so I'm just going to show you first of all there's two that I can't find of course there are the day that I need to show them I can't find them um, I'm probably just having a really really bad look but one of them is a synthetic eye brush which is basically just a general you know put pigments on like if you want wet pigments or just like normal eyeshadows blah 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 it works fine and then the other one is a capped lip brush which I've never even used not even gonna lie um, because I don't really use lip brushes unless I'm using OCC lip tars but I haven't really worn them that much and when I have I've been using my angled elf like eyebrow brush so that's those two just talk about what they come in first with this set I'll write the cost and we can them blah 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 down below um, it comes with a brush roll and this brush roll is about 10 times better than the last one I had. I think it was by like Crown Brushes or whatever. This one is actually amazing and it actually goes quite small so you can like put it around your waist properly, like around your hips. Like the other one was a bit too big for me, it kind of like hung down and it felt like it was just going to fall off if I walked. This one you can get really nice and tight and it's really, really nicely made, nice material and it's easy to wipe down as you can see it looks perfect. So you have like all of these little um, bits at the front to put your brushes in. There's tons and tons of space. And then you can actually zip it up so it's like a brush bag if you want to travel with it. Okay, so the first brush is the FBO one. This is a big fan brush. But I do not like this for sweeping away fallout because it is so dense. As you can see, let me just compare it to the e.l.f. one look at the difference like intense um this one here i like to use for fallout just brush it off it's nice and thin so it just kind of dusts it off without blending it into your skin this one here let me say this is phenomenal for highlighting it's like perfect you can like dust it in your palette like this and then just go like that and it gets on the very highest point of your face you don't end up with like shimmer everywhere like you sometimes do with other brushes it just hits the right spots you can go straight down your nose with it it's like the perfect kind of size so soft so dense it's actually awesome for highlighting i really really like this one i remember seeing nicole i don't even know how to say her last name ingero giro <laughs> butchered i'm sorry i don't think she's watching this she wouldn't even know who i am but <laughs> i saw her rave about this ages ago and when they contacted me to do the review i was like i just want to do it for this brush I've, yeah, I've been wanting to try this forever and I'm really impressed. I really do like that one. Next one is one of the ones that you would have seen me rave about in my um, Face of the Day videos. This thing is amazing and I love it so much more than my Sigma ones because the Sigma ones, I don't know, they're like not as dense and they kind of, like they're not scratchy but they're not like as soft as this one. This one's more soft than the Sigma one and it's so dense and it actually puts on bronzer like, oh my god so perfect like what I do is I just like buff it into my bronzer and then I'll just go like I don't contour with this I just put it there up there around there but bit, 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 and it's amazing oh my god so yeah this is the FBO3 it's I don't think I couldn't ever live without this brush anymore and I might have to get another one next one I think this brush is average I was excited to try it out but I don't like it that much it's the FBO7 and it reminds me of the Sigma flat top like this and the this one's dirty i'm sorry the elf flat top but i definitely prefer these two the elf one's probably my favorite um this one here isn't as dense like even as the elf one it's not as dense and it's not good for liquid foundation in my opinion it doesn't really blend it out very well because it's not very dense it's all right for powder though if you only want like a nice light dusting of it like just to like pat it on your skin and I also used it for i think it was blush one time and i just like kind of went like this and it worked fine like it's just I think it was just my personal expectations when I saw this. I thought of the Sigma one and I thought of the Elf one and I thought it would be great for foundation, but it's not really. But yeah, great for powder if that's what you want it for. Um, it's still a good brush, just if you were thinking about getting this for foundation, I wouldn't recommend it. Next is another one of the ones that is just like absolutely holy grail, amazing, love it, can't live without it. <laughs> this is the FBO5. Like, I wasn't even expecting to love these brushes as much as I do. This one here is one of the small contours, just like the Sigma one, which is another one of my absolute favorite, favorite, 
favorite brushes but okay so I've been starting to use my studio fix fluid for my foundation as you guys know and I can't use it with a flat top brush it doesn't buff it and it doesn't look good so I've been using these um, and I do like I've been using my simple ones for my contouring which I've used this for contouring too and it's fantastic for contouring but this is just nice and small and it fits straight in under there but then I decided to try and use this one for foundation and this one shred a lot more um, you have to expect with a natural hair brush that it's going to shred with liquids like I don't think there's many brushes that will not shred. Maybe like MAC, but you know, they're like amazing apparently. Um, I haven't got any. I tried a few MAC brushes ages ago and I wasn't impressed, so I never kind of bought more. Um, but it still works great, foundation. But this one doesn't shred as much. And basically they're the same thing, like they work the same. This one doesn't shred as much, but it's amazing still. Like even it's worth getting the hairs off afterwards. It gives you the most flawless application. And as I said, it's amazing for... Uh, what's this contouring and you can also use it for blush if you want highlighter whatever but yeah amazing for foundation amazing for contouring I love it next I have the EB 13 and it looks like this it's just like a blending brush and it's like synthetic and I tried this for um, foundation for concealer it worked fine it didn't work any better than like my Sigma ones or anything like that used it for blending out eyeshadow it worked fine there's nothing spectacular about it but it works and it's good so I mean you get it in the kit and you'll use it if you have it you know what I mean it's not like an outstanding brush like the other couple I mentioned but it's good okay I'm going to show these two together this is the EB21 I got two of them um I don't know if I'm supposed to I don't know but I got two and they look like this and a lot of people are going to be like what the hell useless because they're so tiny but I used to watch oh, what's her name queen of blending I think and she always uses small eyeshadow brushes and what I love these for is out of V like you can just pat it on your out of V and it gets like the perfect kind of amount perfect shape like if you just put it like black in there or whatever also really really good down here under the lash line and for your inner corner light I kind of use it almost as if I'd use a pencil brush um I don't use them on the lid but I mean seriously I actually love these and I find the small small ones really 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 helpful next I have the EB09 and this reminded me of my favorite brush of all time which is the Sigma E25 um but I do prefer the Sigma one slightly I don't know what it is but I prefer it but this is still great and it's really really good for blending out eyeshadow and putting eyeshadow into the crease next I have the EB17 and I was not impressed at all with this um I use the spoolie end just to like comb out my eyebrows but the other end here it's an angle brush but I feel like it's really really cheaply made it's kind of thick like you can't really get nice strokes into your eyebrows with this you couldn't use it for eyeliner I don't really know what you could use it for and it's really really stiff as well so you can't really use it under your lash line or anything like that next I have the EB23 and I thought this would be good for doing eyebrows since the other one sucked but it's not kind of dense enough it's kind of like too fluffy so what this one is better for I, I still haven't really used it that much though but for color underneath the lash line because it's a lot softer than that other one but I mean like I'm not that impressed with this one to be honest typical I just found the brush that I was talking about at the beginning of the video that I couldn't find so this is the EB11 and it's the large synthetic eyeshadow brush and yeah I just I like you can use this for wet pigments and wet eyeshadows it works really really well to put them onto the lid it reminds me of like a concealer brush you could probably use it for concealer but I just use it with my dry um, plain pressed eyeshadows and it works perfectly fine and I just use it for all over the lid like if I'm doing a shimmery shade first that's kind of what I'll use this one for other than that I mean it's such a basic brush it's just one of those brushes that everyone needs in their collection this brush here I'm in love with as well this is the EB15 and it just reminds me of that Sigma one that's the exact same shape if you guys are familiar it's kind of tapered and it's like a blending brush I use this as a blending brush a crease brush and a pencil brush all in one I like to use it to apply color just here if you watch my like if you want to know what makeup I'm wearing if you watch the previous video to this one or somewhere around that um, I use this on my eyes and it's just really really nice you can kind of like slide it sideways to apply color you can use the tip of it in the crease just to apply it you can like give a bit more pressure and push down a bit more and it will blend and then you can use it under the lash line as well so I really like this one and it's really really soft and really really dense so I'm really impressed and then the last one which I really like which is dirty I'm sorry I used it for my mum's wedding the other day um, I find this really really helpful um, personally I've got quite curly eyelashes I'm wearing false ones as well at the moment but naturally I have quite curly eyelashes so when I try to apply gel liner I have to kind of like go on the weirdest angle up like this and try to like 
draw it on. But this brush here, if you can see, it's got a like, kink in it. So I can just go straight like this and it will go straight over top of my eyelashes. And it's a lot easier to control. And I used it on my mum, as I said. Well, used it to apply the gel eyeliner to my mum. And it was really, really easy to use on other people. So if you're a makeup artist, you might find this really, really helpful if you're into using gels on other people. Or like creams or... What else are they called? I don't even know. Cream eyeliner, gel eyeliner, blah blah blah. Um, so yeah, I really really like that. Okay, so that's all the brushes apart from the lip one, which I couldn't find as I said, but I never used it anyway. Um, I hope you guys found this really helpful. And let me know if you have tried Sedona Lace brushes and what your thoughts are. And I'll talk to you soon.